Okay, now we're going to do a bit of a different story. We're going to kind of pull back and look at what would happen if a small group of people got stranded on an island. I've just been calling this the island. Okay, now before we move on to the island, I want you to consider that the people of the village were still somewhat primitive. They didn't have the stock market, they don't have iPhones and cell phones, they don't have tablets or computers, and they don't have a network. This is an important point to remember as we talk about the island. Okay, the island. A group of about 50 people get shipwrecked on an island. Now, as they're trying to get rescued and putting out fires and constructing large signs for, uh, for planes that are flying overhead, they decide to delegate different responsibilities. You have the guys that go out and hunt animals. And then you have the guys that, guys and girls, I apologize, they go out and acquire food. And then you have the people that build huts and you have the people that cook. And then you have the people that have some medical training. So they're the doctors of this little group of people. Now it's a small group of people, so it's fairly manageable. You don't really have to have money in this situation. And most people wouldn't, you would probably have trade at some level, but for the most part, everybody would want to contribute back to the society because everybody wants to get rescued. Now you might want to ask, well, if 50 people could do it, can't everybody do it? Isn't this something we could just scale up on a level where everybody could just do that? Everybody just pitch in and contribute their part and everybody function without the bottleneck and problems that money brings? The answer is unfortunately no. The reason it's no is a bit complicated, but we have a certain level of technological advancement and certain resources and ideas we've constructed our civilization around depends on the flow of money and how money works. Another reason you can't do it are because of the three functions of money. Now we're going to get to those in a minute, but keep that in mind. 